Hey facilitators, Meg Bulger here from Facilitator Cards. What you are about to check out is our step-by-step -step walkthrough for setting up your first scenes in OBS as a virtual facilitator. If you are excited about using OBS for your virtual facilitation or your teaching, you've got it downloaded, but you're not sure where to start, I am going to walk you through how to start building in OBS. This is a clip from our Brain Jam, and if you are interested in that longer video, I will leave a link below. If when you start building, you start running into issues, which happens a lot, especially for Mac users, I will leave some guidance below on troubleshooting tips because you can absolutely set up OBS and get it working. It just takes a little bit of finagling right at the beginning to get it going, especially as a Mac user. But we will help and support you through it. It can be an intimidating interface when you first download it, but it is a really powerful tool for us facilitators, and I am really excited to help you get started. So without further ado, on to the walkthrough. The first thing that we're gonna do in OBS is we're gonna go up to this button that says scene collection. This is, uh, and we're gonna press new. So this is gonna be right at the top for Mac users. It's like in the main bar for PC users. It's gonna be where, where it says file and all of that. So we're gonna hit new and we're gonna write test. Okay, so we have now a blank canvas to start working. So let me walk you through what OBS, um, how to build anything going on in OBS. So over here we have our scenes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this scene. So we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go up here to rename and we're gonna title it main camera. Okay, so now we have our scene name and now we're gonna tell that scene where to pull information from. So that's what this column means, sources. Sources is basically like, what do you want me to show? So down here underneath the source column, we have a plus button and that's gonna let us add a source. So we're gonna click on the plus and we're going to select video capture device. Okay, and this um, pop-up just asks us if we want to name that video capture device and we can leave it just as is. So we can just hit okay. And then we're gonna have the option to choose which device we want. For most of us, you're gonna have probably one or two options. Um, for me, this is just showing my webcams and I want to select for me pro webcam, but for you, you're gonna select whatever your main webcam is. So that might be FaceTime if you're on a Mac PC, if, you, if your webcam has a name, you're gonna select that webcam. Okay, so once you have your webcam selected, you just want to press okay. And then it's gonna come in a little bit short, a little bit small. And all you're seeing me do is select the corner and drag it out so that it fills the entire um, the entire window, the entire space. As soon as you go past, you'll see these gray bars and that will mean that it's not going to show up on camera. The video capture device, ideally we have that just as your main feature and you've filled the screen and we just made the first scene. Like we just got the first scene done. So that's really exciting. If, if, if you've made it this far, congrats. If it's not working, we'll get you there. Um, but we're gonna move to a second scene now. And we're gonna go over here to our scene column. We're gonna press the plus button. And this time we're gonna label it fancy because we're gonna make a fancy scene. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do in this fancy scene is we're gonna put in a background. I'm just gonna make this even bigger so you all can see this even better. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a background. So we're gonna to go to, so we're gonna be in sources, add, and this time we're gonna add an image. And I'm gonna name this image waves. And then you're gonna click okay. 
And now you're gonna tell OBS where to find that image. So the image I want you to use is that image I sent you earlier in Zoom chat. It should be called a calm waves image. And when you open that and stretch it out, it should fill the background, it should fill the scene. All right, so next thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add our video back in here. So we're gonna go to video capture device. So the plus button under sources, video capture device. And instead of adding a new one, we're just gonna add the one we already did. So we're gonna select add existing, select that video capture device and press okay. And you should see your face come back into the scene. So, with this scene, I don't want all of this extra background space. So what I'm gonna show you how to do now is I'm gonna show you how to crop this. So instead of rescaling it, which is when you go up here, right? And you can make it smaller or bigger when you drag that corner box, hover your mouse over the corner box and then hold down the Alt key and then click. And when you're holding down Alt, that allows you to crop and you'll see these greens, I'm sorry, option. Yes, option for, for Mac, thank you. Um, so when you hold down that option key and then click and drag, you can, um, you can crop the box to be much tighter on your face. So I'll invite everybody to do that. And then you can also, once you let go of the Alt key, you can still resize it. Okay. So now we have ourselves, we have our background. Um, we're gonna add our name to the scene. So we're gonna go down to sources and add a source. And we're going to select text. I'm gonna title this text name. And then on the next, um, pop up, you'll have the option to type your text into a box. And so I'm just gonna type my name. There are lots of ways you can configure this later with, with fonts and colors, but for now, we're just gonna leave it plain and simple, white text and hit okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and rescale this so that it's no bigger than my video. All right. So, Last thing we're gonna to add to this scene is we're gonna add in the slides that I sent you. So in order to do that, I need to open up that link. So here we go. I'm gonna open up that link and now I'm ready as well. Okay, so we're gonna go down here to sources, into the plus. We are going to add a window capture. And we're gonna leave it titled window capture and hit okay. And then we're gonna tell OBS what window do we want it to see? And so I have a bunch of windows open, but what I'm looking for is one that's titled, I did it, OBS slide share. And that's what it should be called on yours as well, as long as it's on its own window. And again, if it doesn't show up, we will totally troubleshoot it and help you find it in a bit. So now I have my whole window, uh, my whole Chrome window pulled into OBS. And obviously I don't want my participants to see all of this, this is quite messy. And um, so I'm gonna use that same Alt or Option, click and drag to crop the window down to just my slides. And then I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. And we did it, we made the fancy scene.